Here's problem 24-15. A four picocoulomb point charge is placed at the center of a hollow, inner radius 2 centimeters, outer radius 4 centimeters, conducting sphere, which has a net charge of four picocoulombs. Determine the magnitude of the electric field at a point which is 6 centimeters from the point charge. Now right, let's see if we can uh, imagine what's going on here, at least two-dimensionally. So we have a point charge. Let's put it at the origin here, Q1. And we have a uh, hollow sphere inner radius 2 centimeters, outer radius 4 centimeters. And then we have a point out here at uh, x equals 6 where we wish to evaluate the electric field. This outer sphere has a total charge of Q2 which is also equal to 4 picocoulombs. Q1 is also 4 picocoulombs. Alright, so we have um, this positive charge here. And then this positive charge in the middle. Alright, we wish to employ the principle of superposition to figure out this E field at point P. In other words, we'll look at the, um, the contribution from the point charge at the center and from the, um, the shell itself and then add those contributions together. Now as we look at this the center is just going to act like a point charge so the E field due to that will just be uh, kq over r squared but we're outside the shell of charge as well and that's going to act like a point charge as well if we're beyond its radius so they're both going to act like point charges. and the shell point charge will act like it was located at the center of that shell so they're both going to act like point charges from the origin itself so in that sense we can actually get our total charge by just adding these two charges together and then treat it like a point charge so that's going to be four picocoulombs plus four picocoulombs which would be eight picocoulombs and now our total electric field will just act like a point charge. E will be equal to KQ over R squared. And that is going to be 9 times 10 to the 9 times 8 picocoulombs, 8 times 10 to the minus 12. Our R is going to be our distance from where we're locating these charges, which will be from the center. So it's going to be 6 centimeters. Uh, 6 times 10 to the minus 2 squared. So if we figure this out, 9 times 10 to the 9 times 8 times 10 to the minus 12 divided by 6 times 10 to the minus 2 squared is 20. So 20 newtons per coulomb in positive x direction as I've drawn it. Now, uh, so that's our answer, 20 newtons per coulomb. Now, the way this configuration would actually work in reality is that if we had this charge in the center, four picocoulombs, and then we had the shell around it with a net charge of four picocoulombs, um, this four picocoulombs in the center which is positive would be offset by four picocoulombs that would be induced on the inner shell of this conductor and then because that four picocoulombs was pulled to that inner shell we would end up with a outer shell that had positive four picocoulombs plus another positive four picocoulombs So this outer shell would have eight picocoulombs. So in essence, what's inside here would cancel out and we'd end up with a, 
an effect of an eight picocoulomb positive shell, um, and then that would act like a positive charge from the center of that shell. We don't have to think this way, but that's the way it would work. Um, ultimately, our result is indeed the superposition of the two together, giving us an E field of 20 newtons per coulomb to the right. Thank you.